kid who wore the Melbourne Heart shirt in the stands all those years ago and has played his part on grand final day. He was okay in the morning when he when he woke up, but as the day wore on, he was getting uh, more anxious and nervous. A bit of nervous energy this morning in the house. You could just sort of feel it. And as we're getting ready to leave, feeling a bit pumped. And now, you know, it's the big stage, and we're excited and butterflies and the whole lot. Dancing, whips it in. Brilliant goal from. Melbourne. Stefan Kolakowski! I had a gut feeling, so we actually bought tickets at the last minute and uh, we flew up for the game. So we pretty much flew in and flew out. I just had that energy saying he was going to do something special, so we're proud of that moment that we flew up as well. Started at the Royals and then at Pasco Vale. I coached him for eight years and then from there he went on to play for the Skillaroos. Came back to Pasco Vale for a year, then he's been at City now for six years. We've been foundation members and, and members you know, coming to the games for all the years. So for him to get this opportunity in this city and to be part of such an amazing team is a dream come true, I think, for not only for him, but I think for all of us, really. Um, it's almost surreal still for us. He's always had that guts and desire and determination from when he started playing at the age of four and a half in the under eight, so... He was always that angry little kid on the ground. Stefan Kolakowski, one of the stories of the week after booking that grand final spot last week with a goal and an assist for the team that he supported as a boy. He was here on opening night when Melbourne Hart kicked things off. He was 10 years of age at that stage. And Sydney FC kicked things off at Amy Park. Kolakowski laid it off to Berenguer. They can't get near him, Sydney FC's midfield. And now Tilio with a quick dancing feed. It breaks back his way, and that deflection could have gone anywhere. Always finds the target with those attacking passes. Barbarossas in a grand final again. out on grand final day. Now Kolakowski, little one-two with Tilio, who was dragged back in back play. Atkinson, looking to hit straight back! Top corner, if you don't mind! The boy from Tasmania, set for an Ollie Roos call-up, next month has equalised within three minutes. What a grand final we have on our hands at Amy Park. Yeah, well played, Stefan Kolakowski with the assist. Here's Luke Bratton in big trouble here. He's off! Atkinson trying to work the angle. Brilliant ball, penalty, claims, given! Adrian Luna went down. The captain says, I've got this one, boys. Against Hewitt Bell. Scott Jamison sends the keeper the wrong way. And the captain for Melbourne City puts his side on top. I'm half watching and I'm so nervous, but it's been um, a great half. They have just given it their all. And just, oh, I just want to take home the win. Really good. Uh, he took the ball from the halfway line there, cut in, and really good setup for Nathaniel so hopefully that'll give him a bit of confidence now. I, I think he's, he's dying to score now. Yeah, he's dying to get on the score sheet. Kolakowski! Tap in! No! And the kid who wore the Melbourne Heart shirt in the stands all those years ago has played his part on grand final day with that assist for Atkinson. Galloway again. Will go for goal! Melbourne City! It is their time! Melbourne 
Melbourne City are champions for the first time. Very, very proud moment. Yeah. Fantastic. Great win by the boys. Fabulous club and such a milestone that they've reached today. And we look forward to bigger and better things next year. Very proud. Yeah. All they put in a lot of hard uh, effort hard and work, work over the yeah. last six years. So very proud for Stefan and for the whole club. Stefan, you grew up watching this club as a kid. First game of the A-League. Uh, you were here. Stefan, what does this mean to you? All right, I was sitting just there. Um, it means the world to me. You know, 11 years ago I didn't think this would happen, but now we're here. You grew up uh, following the club. Did you ever think you'd be here standing holding this trophy? Is that the stuff you dreamed of when you were training as a kid? Yeah, I dreamt of it, but I didn't think it happened. You know, back in the Melbourne Heart days, we weren't the best, but uh, we played with passion. But now, you know, I'm just so happy for the fans and for the club to finally get the trophy.